Dennis Email with uh, T. Baker Smith. I'm a uh, project manager and civil engineer uh, for the Thibodeau office. Uh, was the lead design engineer on the Tiger Drive bridge replacement project over by Lafouche, which is right behind me. Uh, we started back in 2010 on the project. DOTD selected T. Baker Smith to do the survey, environmental permitting, and engineering design on the bridge replacement project. Uh, we're working with the city of Thibodeau on this on this project. The project is a off-system bridge replacement. It's a, that's a program that DOTD has to uh, help local government agencies replace bridges which are not technically on the state system. It's not on the state road, but it may help to service traffic to the state road, such as this project. It helps facilitate traffic between Highway 1 and Highway 308. Uh, being that it's an all-system bridge replacement, that's a federal project, so there are federal monies uh, involved in this job, as well as state uh, match money and local money for items such as utilities and, and right-of-way. Uh, the project will be a wider three-lane structure. It will have turn lanes on both sides, both on the Highway 1 and the Highway 308 side. The uh, signals will be upgraded. Uh, they will include uh, GPS and cameras, and those uh, GPS and camera units will actually detect when a vehicle is in the presence of the signal and will actually help turn the signal from red to yellow and green and, and so on. Uh, the bridge is 180 something feet long, 183 feet long. It has a wider span in the middle of the bridge. That was a special design that T. Baker Smith did to accommodate the uh, Bay Lafouche Freshwater District's uh, uh, vessels that they use to maintain the bayou. Uh, the standard bridge uh, span lengths are not long enough for the vessels to get through so we designed a special span uh, to accommodate them. Work closely with them, also work closely with the city on the utility design. The city uh, has a 16 inch water main which uh, used to run on the on the side of the bridge and was separated by was supported by separate piles uh, other than the bridges piles and under this design uh, we added a pile to the bridge's support and we're going to run the new water line right on the side of the new bridge and uh, so that it, wasn't, it wouldn't have to be supported by a separate set of piles uh, across the bayou which uh, reduces costs and eliminate the need to drive more piles. Because of our work with the city and uh, with the federal requirements involved with the job being uh, partially federally funded, uh, there were uh, several environmental and, and federal federal regulations regarding environmental permitting and right-of-way acquisition uh, that we followed throughout the process of the design. The uh, design was completed in early 2013. Plans were submitted to DOTD and they sent the project uh, out to bid for construction in the summer of 2013 and construction began in September. The piles are 111 feet long so logistics and actually getting the pile to the site is uh, it takes some time and it is, a, it is a very important step in the process. There are actually 52 piles which support the bridge so this is, this is, gonna, this is a process which is going to be ongoing over the next several weeks. Uh, once the piles are driven uh, the contractor will then uh, form the rest of the bridge, the deck and the actual riding surface of the bridge. He will form that on top of the piles. Once the bridge is complete they'll come in and do the necessary road work uh, that leads up to the new bridge and the uh, signal improvements that we talked about earlier on Highway 1 and Highway 308. So as you can see the project is very complex. There, there are a lot of different elements that go into a project such as this. Uh, weather always plays a very important factor in completion time on these projects. When we get adverse weather obviously we can't do things such as dry piles and pour concrete. So we hope to, uh, to get some good weather and, and that will definitely accelerate the timing of the completion of the project. Even though you don't see work happening on site uh, with a complex project like this with piles being cast off site, there are items and there is work going on off site which you cannot see here. But I can assure you that work is taking place uh, to move this project along and uh, bring it to completion. Uh, we at T. Baker Smith, we design projects for the Louisiana DOTD throughout the state, but we are always excited when we have a project right here at home, which we uh, can work on to help better our community, and we are very excited to work on this project with the City of Thibodeau and DOTD.